Welcome to this awareness video related to GE Gas Turbine's DLN 2.6 Plus Combustion System, which is applicable to 7FA, 9FA, 7HA, and 9HA gas turbines. Please note that this session is prepared based on 7FA gas turbine DLN tuning, and therefore it can vary for other turbine models, however the overall concept remains the same. In DLN 2.6 plus combustion system, each combustor consists of a six nozzles assembly, each operating as fully premixed combustor, five located radially, one located in center. The center swazzle is smaller in diameter and in flow area than the five outer swazzles. An outer swazzle arrangement the circumference of the combustion can. The end cover that, along with the forward and aft cases, forms the pressure boundary of the combustion system also supports the swazzles. Fuel manifolds embedded in the end cover supply fuel to the swazzles via through holes connecting the fuel manifolds to the base flanges of the swazzles. The swazzle is the combination of swirl and nozzle, where fuel and air mixture is supplied for effective combustion. PM1 has one swazzle, which is premix only. PM2 has two swazzles, which are premix only. PM3 has three swazzles, which are premix only. D5 provides diffusion gas fuel to the five outer swazzles. The center cartridge in PM1 is a blank cartridge, which is not used in gas-fired turbines. For diesel-fired gas turbines, this blank cartridge is replaced with water injection nozzle. In this video, I will be giving reference of CRT, which is combustion reference temperature. For brief explanation of CRT, it is a calculated parameter that helps manage the combustion process. It is derived from various factors such as compressed air temperature, compressor pressure, fuel gas temperature, and exhaust temperatures. The CRT is used to estimate the set point for the combustion temperature at any given load, ensuring the turbine operates efficiently in the defined emission range. Now let's discuss about the startup modes of 7FA gas fired gas turbine and different DLN modes changeover from initial firing to base load. When you start the 7FA gas turbine, after necessary start checks completion, the machine will go for cranking speed, which is around 850 RPM for 60 Hz grid. The gas turbine will perform the purging cycle and will go for auto fuel gas leak tests. Once the purge timer is completed and fuel leak test is successfully completed, the machine RPM will coast down for firing speed and the flame on will occur with DLN mode 3.3. At this stage, the fuel will flow from premix swazzle PM1 via GCV1 and two premix swazzles PM2 via GCV2. The center swazzle is used throughout premix operation as a flame anchor. When gas turbine reaches 16% speed, DLN mode shifts from mode 3.3 to mode 1P. Fuel flow from one premix swazzle PM, one via GCV1, and 5D5 of each combustor via GCV4. Gas turbine reaches full speed no load condition with DLN mode 1P. Combustion reference temperature CRT at FSNL will be 50. When gas turbine CRT approaches 73.21, where the unit output is approximately 20 MW, DLN mode shifts from mode 1P to mode 3P. At this change, the fuel will flow from 1 premix swazzles, PM1, via GCV1, 2 premix swazzles, PM2, via GCV2, and 5D5 of each combustor via GCV4. When gas turbine CRT approaches 76.79, where unit output is approximately 42 to 45 megawatt, DLN mode shifts from mode 3P to mode 6.2P. At this change, the fuel will flow from 1 premix swazzles, PM1, via GCV1, 2 premix swazzles, PM2, via GCV2, 3 premix swazzles, PM3, via GCV3, and 5D5 diffusions via GCV4.
When gas turbine CRT approaches 82.14, where unit output is approximately 60 to 65 megawatt, DLN mode shifts from mode 6.2p to mode 6.3p. At this change, the fuel will flow from 1 premix swazzles PM1 via GCV1, 2 premix swazzles PM2 via GCV2, 3 premix swazzles PM3 via GCV3 and 5D5 diffusions via GCV4. Note that the gas turbine will continue to operate on DLN mode 6.3p from this point onwards to base load. As I mentioned at the start of video, these DLN modes change over details are based on the actual tuning of one of GE7FA gas turbine and therefore the settings can vary based on model and tuning, however the concept remains the same. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. If you want similar explanation on other topics, please write in the comments so that I will add that topic in my priority list. Thank you.